Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to uh, paint your bowl. So I've actually sanded it slightly, very, very slightly, with just some fine sandpaper. So um, you can use sandpaper like this, or you can put an, um, uh, another layer of PVA just to smooth it off. I've also trimmed the edge a little bit in places where it was um, looking a little bit jagged. I actually like the delicacy of this bowl. I've decided I'm going to use a white um, acrylic primer. It could be um, um, gesso. If you've only got emulsion, use emulsion with a bit of PVA in it. And I'm first of all coating my bowl, the inside, with an old brush and this paint all the way around. And I'm actually spiralling my stroke a bit. because My brush is quite old. It's actually, you can actually see the brush marks. I quite like that. Be aware that whatever texture you have in your brush will come out. But what I'm doing is I'm actually making it look a bit more like a ceramic that's been turned by spiralling it in. And if you wanted to do your lines straight down like that, you would have a different kind of feel. I'm actually wanting to spiral it all the way around. And then you have to leave that to dry. Now that depends on how dry your room is, um, whether it's heated, whether it's well aerated. If it's a very damp environment, it might take an hour or two to dry. dry. But acrylic paint tends to dry really, really quite quickly. So give that an hour or so to dry. And then after that, you're able to put your first layer of paint. And the first layer of paint I've put on here is a, um, a mixture of a pink and a bit of water, a mixture of a pink and an orange um, neon paint. And I've literally put that on the top of my... I've actually used a bigger brush than that. I've actually used one like this. But because I'm doing the very edges now, I'm actually just going round, making it a bit finer. And also, because I don't want to go over the whole of this again, and I've left it dry a little bit so I can show you how to do your paint, I'm only going to do the very top edge for you there. But you can see, you can actually make it quite delicate. On the bottom side, I've painted red, and the very bottom, I've put black. And you can see that I've actually refined the design a little bit more there for you to see. Often there's flowers, hearts, roses, lots of dots, obviously skulls, um, usually happy, smiley skulls. The Day of the Dead is to do with remembering people that have passed. Um, it's used in Mexico um, a lot. Um, it's to do with remembering the old souls day and celebrating people, family members that have passed. It's uh, nice that people tend to gather around grave sites and get together and have family festivals the idea that that relative will be visiting that day so it's actually lovely there's a beautiful um film called coco which explains it really well so today we're going to be decorating this little bowl and um because this is dried off enough um for me to use the sharpie i'm going to show you how to do a very simple design with this it's quite nice using um permanent markers like this sharpie I want to have the feeling of a flower in the middle. So I've put a dot in the middle and I'm actually going to go around the dot with a circle like that. And then I'm going to literally do one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So I'm gonna bring it down like that so you can see. And then I'm going to go with some slightly longer ones in this section here can be quite organic, hand-drawn, it's lovely, it's fine. I'm actually going to start putting some dots into these. This could be the centre of leaves. Like so. I think I might put a few dots into the middle of that, at the centre of a, a flower. And then I'm thinking, oh, what colour would look nice? Well, this is very, very bright. It'd be nice to have maybe... Um, a green or a, a blue and I've got some acrylic here laid out again it's a bit random the colours um, I'm going to wash my brush which has got that neon colour in if you're lucky enough to have more than one brush you know you can keep the colours separate I'm using the newspaper to wipe my brush off and I think I might use a green because I quite like the green for the leaf first just on the interior of the leaf I'm just going to put a little stripe on each side and it can be quite 
painterly actually. I've noticed a lot of the Day of the Dead celebration decoration and Halloween decoration can be, I mean obviously you can be as fine about it as you want. I quite, because I am do quite a lot of painting, I quite like it to be quite painterly. They're like that. And the line pattern's very, very nice. I'm thinking, right, okay, what colour flower would be nice? Um, and I'm thinking, oh, um, I think I might go for uh, a yellow. My yellow is a little bit greeny there, but that's fine. So again, I'm just going in the middle with that. And what I might have to do with the yellow is to do a second layer on that because the neon paint is so much that I'm um, coming through that I can't see the quite nice actually but I can't see the the yellowness that I would like so I'll be doing that so I'm going to let that dry and I'm to show you that I'm using going to use a gold pen here um, and I'm going to do another circle I think here with gold And I'll go back on top of that. You can barely see that, but there is some gold lines there. And the other thing that people like to use for the Day of the Dead is skulls. So as these designs come out, I think I'm going to bring some dots that go into larger dots from these. So the design is radiating out like so. And in between each section, you're going to have different skulls. Don't worry, nice smiley happy skulls. Okay, so the top of the skull, I'm just going to do one here. I'm going to do the arc of the skull and then I'm going to do the base of the skull like that. The idea of cheeks. And usually they have smiley faces with lines on them like that. A little triangle for the nose and then some eyes like that like so and we can decorate we can decorate around that however we feel we want to sometimes there's nice coiling designs like so all the way around maybe each section can have something slightly different that looks a bit like periwinkles and I live by the sea so it's quite nice that there and I'm going to carry on decorating this and then come back to you with the finished article um, in a still in a moment. Hope you enjoy, have fun. That's the most important thing. This um, bowl does take a bit of time, it's staged. It's lots and lots of fun, but you do need to let things dry in between. Um, and if you do, you'll get a very beautiful bowl or plate. This is actually taken from a mold or a plate, but the, the bowls that we've done that are actually um, from uh, uh, balloons are beautiful. And I've got one here that I've actually painted completely black which is one of the ones from a little balloon that I'm going to decorate now for you and show that in a still as well so this is just black acrylic paint and I'll be showing how that looks as a finished article in a minute <laughs> 